Hello YouTube, it's a sunny day in Seattle, got the top down, you asked for it, you got it, another Chevy Sonic video. And look what we have here, it is the hatchback Chevy Sonic. Hey, if you find this kind of content helpful, uh, support the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button, alright? It's important. Uh, encourages us to keep uh, making these videos so thank you in the stall on my rack on somebody's rack formerly the Chevy Avino the Chevy Sonic evolved into this in 2011 I believe it was this body style came out there's a, a sedan and the hatchback here uh, but did it evolve even earlier from the 80s and the Chevy Chevette? That is, uh, that is up for debate. But today we're going to talk about why these vehicles overheat. Chevy Sonic right here in the stall. Look at that, Curtis. Like my friend and master tech over here, Curtis, would say, what happens when you don't change your coolant? It becomes acidic and eats away at your stuff. Starts to melt down and, and bite away. And, uh, Technically, it causes electrolysis, which is caused by the current that runs through the car. <laughs> yeah, it lead away at uh, components, rubber. And now the cars have so much electronics in them today. They're basically a smartphone on wheels. Yeah, it's important to uh, do coolant flushes regularly, especially with these little cars and the turbochargers that are on them. Uh, they make the vehicle get a lot hotter than your average four cylinder. Chevy Sonic. Anyway, why the overheating? Why the overheating on the Sonic? <laughs> this is the thermostat housing. Look at that, got a little hot. Don't burn up your Sonic like I did. Replace, uh, this might be uh, one of those things you might consider replacing on a regular basis. There's also, we're waiting for a fuel line or a, or a vacuum line that goes all the way back to the gas tank from here. But yeah, that's uh, one of the cooling, cooling system parts that's important on the Chevy Sonic here. Why the overheating? It could be thermostat housing. Yeah, man. Motor gets hot, baby. Some folks will uh, replace this bottle, which I did in mine. It doesn't really need it, I don't think. It wasn't the problem. The most common problems, which you may have seen in some other videos, are a coolant leak somewhere in your radiator, usually. Um, radiator leaks, you can usually see them dripping down the radiator. Um, when the car is hot, you lose, you know, even a pinpoint, you're going to lose a lot of coolant. Uh, leaky hose, and in these vehicles, there's a lot of hoses and heater hoses and hoses go in different places. And But the most, uh, when it comes to hoses in one of these cars, especially if it's relatively new, the thing that breaks down the most is the thermostat housing. So yeah, to review, uh, the manual on this says five years or 150,000 miles to, to totally flush the coolant. I would do it sooner than that, all right? Just based on what I've seen with overheating with these vehicles, you got a turbocharger on a 1.4 liter engine, it's producing a lot of heat. It's gonna break down the coolant faster. I would, if it was me going back, if I could get into time machine and tell tell Russ Shaw in uh, 2014 about his Chevy Sonic, right? Um, I would flush the cooling system a lot more than uh, like 60,000 miles, 50,000 miles. Um, and be mindful of that engine light coming on and this engine getting hot. A common uh, meltdown with these vehicles from my friends in the shop. Our tube that broke while uh, pulling this one out it just cracked again because of the heat so this video was recorded back when I was wearing scrubs to work 
about two months ago. I know, I've sat on it for a while. Been busy, all right? Change your coolant, all right, over time. Your car's over five years old, you need a coolant flush. Um, thermostat housing unit. It's an electronic unit. It's got different pipes going different places. It's made of plastic. They do break, they do fail. Um, this is probably the, the thing that killed my Sonic, to be honest with you. Moment of silence. <laughs> Hopefully uh, some tips in this video helped you keep your Sonic cool and uh, help solve some overheating issues. Some tips for you there. Don't forget to subscribe and why not watch another video? Stick around.